a smile cracked his lips. Exhausted, physically and mentally battered and yet Gabriel let out a whoop of joy. I can fly. Shockwave flew past him propelling himself up and into the air like Gabriel had done but unable to soar. Gabriel forced himself to look where he was going. He looked and saw his friends trying to hold off Avalanche and Toad. The Brotherhood was beginning to get on top of Iceman and Forge and Gabriel swooped down to help. He landed and dropped into a roll on his right shoulder before coming up and looking at Shockwave. Shockwave stood with his hand at Gabriel's head palm open ready to fire a sonic blast at Gabriel. Goodbye Force, you're my first kill. Gabriel closed his eyes. His life didn't flash before his eyes. All he could think of was Madeline he thought of her smiling the sweet smile at him when they first met and Gabriel knew that he couldn't die whilst she was captured. Shockwave supposed that Force had had long enough to suffer so her powered his attack and let him have it. Shockwave flew backwards. His right arm moving at an unnatural angle from the rest of his body as he landed beside Toad and Avalanche Force opened his eyes and stared deep into Toad's. Gabriel found his voice resonating around his body he felt the same mutant strength that he had when he first awakened his powers. Where is Madeline? He boomed. Where is she? Tell me if you want to live. Gabriel raised himself slowly to his feet. Avalanche brought Gabriel to the real world. He sent a tremor that knocked him to down and dropped foliage onto his body. A sickly pop had shockwaves on back in his socket and Forge and Iceman were suddenly outnumbered. The Brotherhood began to advance. A host of six-foot-long spines shot into the ground separating the two groups. Spike and Nightcrawler stood over Gabriel's body ready to attack. Well must be going losers. Tote said as he, Avalanche and Shockwave disappeared. Madeline and Rogue were sitting dressed in baby clothing sucking on pacifiers playing with baby toys when the three reappeared in the hideout. Shockwave immediately collapsed due to shock. Hypnotic and Summon who had been sitting on a pair of office chairs lounging were immediately on their feet. What happened to him? Demanded Hypnotic. What happened at the eleven? Summon demanded. Avalanche immediately moved to take control of the situation. We someone who can take care of him now. He pointed to Shockwave. Then he'll give you a status report before we head back for round two. I have just the person. Summon said. Spike and Nightcrawler sat in the medical bay listening to Iceman explain what had happened whilst Forge set up the equipment to monitor Gabriel. They were serious about getting in here. Iceman said. If it hadn't been for me and Gabriel we wouldn't have held them off. Yes but look at what happened to him. Spike said. And you told the others to move to the hiding place because they were too inexperienced. What about him? He has only been here for days. He has more control than a lot of the people that have been here for years. Iceman countered. You weren't here I made the decision based on the people I had available at the time. And Force almost died. Mine friends calm down look he is waking up. Nightcrawler said pointing his three-fingered hand in Gabriel's direction. The X-Men gathered round the table much to Forge's disgust. Stay back give the man some air. Gabriel's eyes flickered open. Any calls whilst I was out. The relief was tangible.